All right, so we're out road cruising tonight. I just wanted to point out all the, can't even see anything, all the fish that are along the side of this canal here. It looks like we got some gar. There's so many, I'm assuming that these are just Florida gar, which are native. Um, but yeah, we're out looking for snakes and other herbs tonight. Only seen an alligator so far, but figured I'd point out these cool fish that are swimming around here. But we'll keep looking and see if we can find anything on the road or maybe a snake in one of these ditches. Well, right over here, we have our first herp on film tonight. And it's an alligator. that's right here along the edge of this canal or levee or whatever we're calling it pretty cool so look what we have right over here that's a young alligator it's not a baby but it's gonna swim off in this direction I would say that's at least a year old and there's another alligator you can see the eye shine Oh, it's not really coming out now. I don't know why it's... Oh, yeah. You can see the head right there. I don't know what's going on, but... Yeah, there it is. Another young gator, not a baby, but... Pretty cool. Two alligators right at the edge of this canal here. Well, check this out, everyone. We have this giant alligator that is swimming right towards us. That thing is probably about an eight foot alligator if I would have a guess, and he's literally coming right up towards us. Like, what are you doing shining this light in my pond? And I'm just looking for snakes, and there's this big gator just floating here. Hey buddy, how you doing? I don't want to get any closer to you because you're very curious. But look at that, just a big alligator just came up to greet us, I guess. See what he ends up doing. I think he's just curious, that's all, getting a look. Pretty cool. Well, you can see the eye shine over there. The most common herp of night, it's been alligators. Never tired of seeing alligators, wish I could see something else, but can't complain this one's on the move you can see the eye shine there but yeah we'll keep on going see what else we can find so up ahead over there let's make out zoom in a little more there's an alligator that's on the road at 11 30 at night we'll get closer to this guy and see what he does He's going to start working his way off the road. So there is an owl that's in that tree right there. I'm going to zoom in a little more. I think it's just a barred owl. So, so it's been a very slow night for snakes, but I just can't get over all the fish that are in the water over here and you can see them pretty clearly they're just all around and I don't really I'm not <laughs> my ichthyology background isn't that strong but I know that there are different fishes that are in here I still don't know the IDs for really any of them looks like we may have some catfish like that one that's swimming there but so really cool, yeah, we're not seeing really much of herps other than alligators and toads, but... And the pig frog's calling the background, but at least we get to see some cool fish. So, yeah. Maybe we'll see a snake, maybe not. Who knows. Alright, we have our first snake of the night. This looks to be a ribbon snake. It is a ribbon snake. Peninsular ribbon snake. Or peninsula ribbon snake, excuse me. Zoom in, there we go, focus on it. Yep, just along the edge of the road here. It's probably going to either turn around or 
<laughs> just do that. And I already lost. Oh, it's right here. And there it goes. We'll leave, leave it be and keep on going. Well, I have just road cruised a decent sized cottonmouth. Hey there. How you doing? This cottonmouth's literally all alone at the very end of the road that I'm cruising on. What a beautiful snake. One that I've seen a lot of and, as I keep saying, never get tired of coming across the cottonmouth. So, there we go. We'll keep on going see what else we can find, but pretty cool. Great. We have... Not a snake... I thought this was a snake, and it's the classic pine needle that is shaped like a snake. Very funny. Alright everyone, so this is a little graphic here. Um, this, I'm not going to show the injury, but this Florida green water snake just got hit. And her babies have come out of her. Some are actually, I think, still alive and are going to make it, so even though she's probably not... We have several babies here that I think are going to be okay. Um, so obviously it's not the best sight in the world, but you, we have, again, several baby Florida green water snakes. Mom, unfortunately, is going to make it, but you can see that's where they're coming out of. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm going to, there's one over here already working its way into the woods. So I have not seen this before, but yeah, we got one baby over here, this one here, and then three, four, five, six, a couple coming out here. So at least six babies are going to make it. But, yep. So third, I guess technically... We're now up to like almost 10 snakes with all these Florida greens. All right, everyone, we have our second cottonmouth of the night. Um, this cottonmouth I just found on the side of the road looks pretty just like, eh, tired. Like just its facial expression and everything. I mean, these snakes really don't have facial expressions, but it's not tongue flicking or anything. It's just on the side of the road. So second cottonmouth of the night. And with those Florida greens, I don't even know how many snakes we're up to right now. Probably at least 10 if you count all those babies, if not more than that. Alright, so here's a corn snake that's on the side of the road. I This is a dead snake, but it doesn't have any injuries to it, so I figured I would at least show it as technically a new species. I actually thought it was alive, but it is a dead corn snake. Um, really, there's, if we look at it, there's really no... Well, I guess there's some where it got hit there, but other than that, there really is no other injury. So just a minor hit like that is what took this beautiful snake out, unfortunately. But we'll keep on going and see if we can find any other snakes on the night. All right. I narrowly avoided hitting this snake, but it's a new species in the month of June. It's a Florida scarlet snake. That right now it's going to do what scarlet snakes do and bury themselves underground. Zoom out a little more here so you can get a better look as the scarlet snake begins to disappear under the ground. Or actually, no, he's not really doing that. He's more just moving his way into the grass. But, yep, very glad I, didn't avo I avoided hitting him. And we're going to keep on going to see what else we can find. Great news! So after finding that dead corn snake, we got one that's alive on the road. It's like 11.30 at night, and I'm just like driving on all these side roads, and there's a corn snake that's here. <laughs> he's flailing, he's hooding up a little bit, he's getting all kind of defensive. Well, you look at that. Wow, that's really cool. Got saw a dead corn snake, but also got a live one too, so I think this is the first time I've ever gotten like two corn snakes in the same night. So yeah, there we go got ourselves a nice corn snake.
Well, I have officially broken my record. Three corn snakes in one night. So I have actually seen two corn snakes before in a night. Um, those were hiked. This is the first time I've road cruised at least two corn snakes. Now granted, one was technically dead, but still to see three corn snakes in a night, pretty cool. So yeah, it's um, after 11.30 right now. I actually have no idea what time it is, but here's a good look at this corn snake. We'll make sure this guy gets off the road. There's like no traffic out right now, but all it takes is one car. So yeah, snakes are still moving. It's turning out to be a really good night. All right, we have another snake in the road. Is this? No. It's my light. It's my life for Clarkie Eye. Is this a mangrove salt marsh snake? What are you? You're an Erodia, but I haven't seen one that looks like this before. I think this is my life for Clarkie Eye. Oh my god, that's, I mean, we're in mangrove habitat, but... Yeah, I'm not 100% sure, but that is, I'm leaning, like, 90% confident that this is my life for Clarkii, Nerodia Clarkii, the mangrove salt marsh snake. Going to get some quick photos, and yeah, we'll keep on going, but oh my, the snakes, it's like almost midnight, and they're just moving all over the place. Mangrove salt marsh snake, Nerodia Clarkii. All right, so up in this tree here, I had a moth just fly right into my eye. It's a barn owl. I'm laying a bunch of bugs into my car right now. I think, yeah, he's facing us. You can see him right there. Moth just landed on my face. But yeah, there we go, barn owl. Being very patient, just looking at the ground, waiting for some cool stuff to pop up so he can eat it. We'll keep on going. All right, everyone, we have... I don't know why it's doing this. Oh, yeah. We have another snake on the road. This is a Nerodia. Um, why is this? Okay, hold on. I'm just going to leave it with this light on. So we got a Nerodia on the road. It's hissing. It's hissing. And it's in a striking position. God, I'm really getting blinded by this light here. That's much better. Yeah, I, I don't know what this Nerodia is. I really don't. Like, it's a rear... I've never seen... I mean, I've never seen one with this pattern before. Like, the, you're getting a better shot of it now. Mrs. Mosquito's just biting me. I, is this a Clarky? That can't be a Clarky eye. We're no longer in the mangroves, so what is this? It's an excellent question. The mosquitoes may prevent me from getting the answer to that, but... Just take a look at this guy right here. Just put the light back on. Yeah. I don't know. Interesting. I actually don't know. I'm going to try and ID this guy later, and then, yeah, I'll post it in the description. Okay, people, it is 12.30 in the morning, and look what we got on the road here. This is a super feisty cottonmouth. Now, he's not really feisty, but he just is like, oh, there is the mouth. He was a little mouth gaping. He's like, dude, you have way too much energy for 12.30 in the morning, and I'm just trying to get on the road here. And I'm like, I'm just happy to see you. Look at that beautiful snake. Cottonmouths are so cool. Never tired of seeing them. We're going to leave this guy be. Keep on going, because no one is on the road right now. All right, people, it is quarter of 1 a.m. and look what we got on the road. It is our second 
Florida Scarlet Snake on the night. These are such really interesting snakes. Very fascinated to always see them. Um, they're fossorial. And yeah, they're just, this is like the one place down here where these snakes are actually really common. Um, so yeah, that's pretty cool. Uh, there are some other herpers who I just ra uh, ran into who found this snake. Oh, I was leading and I saw it first and then they stopped and got it. But Florida Scarlet, second of the night. And yeah, so it looks like we got some company on the road. Maybe we'll get another snake. Who knows? We'll see if we can get a snake before 1 a.m. Or we can get to 1 a.m. and not see a snake. Well, everyone, that is going to be a wrap on the evening. It is just after 1 a.m. And I got back from an excellent night of road cruising. Three corn snakes, two scarlet snakes. I'm pretty sure to Clarkii, which were the first time I ever saw Clarkii. And... Um, yeah, Cottonmouths, the Florida Green was a little bit of a tragedy, but at least the baby survived. But overall, I think the for the first couple weeks here in June, things have been incredibly productive. I mean, there have been stretches where I'm like, oh, it could be a little better, and I could maybe see um, some of the targets that I didn't get to see, but... The point is, it's been going pretty well. So if you liked what you saw, especially after tonight, um, consider liking this video, subscribing if you want, entirely up to you. And yeah, I will see you in the next video. So you all have a fabulous night and see you next time.